Good morning, everybody. This is Martha. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you being here. Um, I've been away for a little while. We had to take a trip uh, up through Ohio to New York. We got a new air conditioner put into our Class B RV, which is a van, basically, a big van. And um, then we went to New York. My husband's father had passed away in March. And um, his mom decided to do the internment a couple of weeks ago. So we went to Rochester, New York for that. And although we had beautiful weather and we saw a lot of family that we haven't seen in a very long time, um, we were able to have a little downtime but of course, the reasons we were there were stressful. So it was good, it was, you know, okay. When we came back, it took me almost two whole weeks to decompress from that. I guess it was just a lot that I realized I didn't, I, I didn't realize how very stressed I was about the whole thing. So it's taken me a little while to get back into crafting again. It's taken me a little while to get my little mojo back but I'm back. <laughs> so I went, I belong to a spinning guild and um, I went ahead and went with my friend yesterday and it's in Charlottesville. So it's about a little over an hour away um, if I were to drive straight there, but I stopped and pick up my friends. So it takes about an hour and a half. We stopped and had some lunch. We chit chatted and caught up for a while which was wonderful because I only get to see her about once a month and then um we went on to spinning guild and one of the ladies who's so wonderful great spirit beautiful spinner um she brought in a ton and I'm talking about a ton of linens that her mother-in-law who passed away left behind and she hasn't wanted to list them and sell them. She just wants them to go to good homes. Well, oh my goodness. I I tried not to be greedy and I left a lot behind. And she kept saying, take them, take them. And I'm like, I just couldn't be greedy. She was giving them away for free. <laughs> so, I don't know. What's wrong with me? But anyway, I wanted to show you some of the linens that I took. And there were 12 of everything. This thing is huge. This is what the corner looks like, which is absolutely just gorgeous. And the rest of it is this really wonderful, wonderful linen. It's got beautiful edging on it all the way around. And as I said, it's it's huge. It's, um, I'll probably need, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna need a tape measure. Let me see. Um, it is 23 inches, 23 inches square. That, that is pretty darn big. And these things are absolutely the most beautiful fabric. And, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun using this. And this one is my absolute favorite. I was going to save it to the end, but I can't. So there's this one. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see how gorgeous this really is. It is just, I mean, there's the close-up. It's so pretty. So I got six of these. And there were 12 of them. Trust me, I was, I'm going to talk to her. Um, she wants me to find something for her that I have, and I told her I would, I would look for another one for her, and I'm going to tell her that I'd give it to her if she'll give me the other six of these. These were made in France. They are so pretty. I, I may have a tough time cutting these up, but I'll tell you what, they're gorgeous. This one just has a really beautiful edge on it. And a really pretty design, but it's it's a um, unbleached. I don't know if it's linen. I think it's linen. 
It's either linen or flax. And there's, uh, there are, I guess I only grabbed three of those. There's this placemat set that is just, am I making you dizzy? <laughs> I tend to do that. Just beautiful. Can you see up close? Today is a really dark, gloomy, foggy, uh, gonna probably rain today. I don't know. Hopefully it'll rain. But these are so pretty. And I got, let's see. I still haven't fixed my chair. It's making really obnoxious squeaky noises. So excuse me. I got six of these. It's so, I mean, they're so beautiful. I can't tell you how excited I was when she said she was giving them away. And I was like, no. <laughs> these, I'm not even sure I can cut up. I might just keep these for myself. Um, these are so pretty. I think this is right side up. Yeah. These are so pretty. I should have taken, maybe if I take, give me a second. Preparation is everything, right? Especially when you do it ahead of time. Take that off. You can see this even better. Yep, you can see it even better now. This is a set of placemats. And I, I was lucky enough to get six of those as well. And some of them have a few little stains on them. But you know what? I'm probably going to throw these into a tea dye anyway. And I, I'm really, I love these. I'm tempted to just keep these and use them as placemats. Or at least two of them. There's only my husband and I. I only need two. Then I uncovered these. And these are amazing. I don't know if the camera picks up the color or not. They're they're kind of a... They're not an off-white. It's like an unbleached... Again, a flax or a linen. I don't know. And there's no tags on the rest of these. Those other ones say made in France. But I just... I love these and these are going to be so easy to cut apart here and use the separate little pieces and I was so excited and then there was this that went with it which is an absolutely beautiful table runner so there's the beginning and there's the end and that this I mean <laughs> this would make a beautiful journal cover. Um, I mean, it's gorgeous. I just can't wait to use these. And I'm going to talk to her because if she if she really truly wants these to be used, I, I mean, I don't think she knows what I do. She looked at my journals. I, I hope that she doesn't mind if I use these for book covers and such but I mean I make a lot of a lot of garden journals garden themed journals floral you know birds butterflies I mean how lucky am I to have gotten all of these for free and they are so beautiful so there's six placemats plus the table runner and I think there were more of these too I think there were six more of these placemats so I'm going to talk to her um you know, I don't care that they might have little tea or coffee stains on them. I mean, come on, we tea and coffee stain everything all the time. So I don't know if I'll try and put these in a tea stain or not. But uh, yeah, these, I think I'm going to try a couple of them in a tea stain. And I might keep two just for myself and my husband to use. I just really love them. And I'll, I'll go through the rest of them again since I didn't have the black background. And this is this one. So I thought that was really pretty. And I like how it's shaped. It has a little, almost a heart curve to it. Isn't that pretty? And then these over here. And then there were these. And I think these are the ones I only got three of. And that's the, that's the up close. I'm trying to get it so the light shines. As I said, it's really dark here. And then these, which I absolutely love. These are the ones made in France. 
Isn't that beautiful? I hope the glare from the lights isn't ruining this. But I thought they'd show up better on the black background after I thought about it. And then this is the first one I showed, the really huge ones. And this, I love this fabric. I, I wish you could feel it. <laughs> I wish I could describe it to you. But that's the corner again. So thanks for watching. I just wanted to share how lucky I am to know people that have these things and are willing to share them for free. Um, a few months ago when I went, there were um, books, magazines that were free, and I've used a lot of those for pockets and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I've been very, very blessed to have these things show up in my life during this time. I mean, you know, a year ago when I wasn't making journals, I wouldn't have known what to do with these. And I probably wouldn't have taken them. Well, I might have taken a few for placemats for myself. I do appreciate good linens. Um, and they must be quite old because she said that her mother-in-law um, moved temporarily for years, I guess, but temporarily to Panama, I think it was, or the Philippines. One or the other. It started with a P. And that she um, brought all this stuff back with her. So she said she still has an entire linen closet full of more of this stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to go to your house. <laughs> she lives on an old, old Virginia farm that they inherited from, from her husband's mother. So yeah, I'm I'm very blessed. And I'm blessed to have all you here. And um, I just wanted to share. I'm going to be doing a few more really short share vid videos um, and posting them over the next few days. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with some more um, stuff, making stuff with me and uh, sharing some other things. So thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy crafting. And thanks for visiting my shabby craft studio. Bye. Love you guys.